for structural repairs in Kansas City, the majority of the piers that, that are used when peering is, is recommended and required for a repair tend to be steel piers. Every once in a while you'll see uh, concrete piers, but you don't necessarily, necessarily see them as often in Kansas City simply because concrete piers uh, aren't necessarily drilled into the, in, into the ground. They don't sit on bedrock like steel piers sit ultimately on bedrock. They're placed at different widths and different depths to ultimately kind of hold the structure up, whatever the load may be, but not be drilled and, and installed all the way down to bedrock. So the, the width and the size of the concrete itself is meant to be large enough to allow the load to help sit on top of it. But it's not taken all the way down to what we call full resistance bedrock strata that provides absolute resistance that cannot go any further there is room for a concrete pier to ultimately be pushed down further because it doesn't sit on that load bearing strata it doesn't sit on uh, the bedrock itself it's designed the concrete itself is designed ultimately to be engineered to hold the load so you don't necessarily see them as often for uh, structural repair and application in uh, Kansas City. You will see them in commercial applications. You'll see those to support you know, concrete gar garages and buildings and, and structure, but they're engineered specifically for that uh, purpose. But in the residential world, you don't necessarily see them unless you're trying to support, say, like a deck. You know, you'll see concrete piers placed under a deck or some type of cantilever or some type of porch could be loaded with a con concrete pier. So they tend to be affordable. You know, they're not nearly the material behind concrete. Concrete is relatively cheap compared to, say, a steel pier. The installation, you don't necessarily have to dig as deep. You can use you, you can use machinery as well as, you know, assistance by hand. So there's those elements that work in the favor of being uh, uh, more affordable, uh, much more affordable than steel piers. But when you're looking for a lifetime warranty, you will not find a lifetime warranty behind a concrete pier as well. But if you're looking for a lifetime warranty that's going to hold the structure and the load, and be a repair that you don't have to visit again, you'll wanna you know, stay away from concrete piers because steel piers ultimately are made for that purpose. Mm -hmm.